Hey everyone, welcome back again to the 80s Movie Den. Um, I realize it's Sunday, uh, but I want to do something a little bit different for the month of October. Uh, my Saturday videos will continue to be released as usual, uh, but because it's the month of October and it's, um, you know, Halloween is just a few weeks away, uh, what I like to do, uh, what I've tried to do in the past, is try to watch a Halloween themed or a horror movie every day for the month of October. Needless to say, I've never pulled it off. <laughs> I've never been able to do it. Uh, that's 31 movies in 31 days. Um, I don't have a lot of free time. Uh, but so far, so good. Uh, I've been able to, to watch seven movies. And so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to watch the movies throughout the week. And then every Sunday, what I'll do is uh, just a quick review or a quick recap of the movies that I that I, that I watched. Um so far, so good. I had a lot of fun sitting back and relaxing and watching some of the movies that I've never seen before. Um, a lot of the movies I have seen in the past, uh, but some I haven't seen. So I, uh, I really enjoyed that experience. So the first movie I watched, which I hadn't seen before, was The Wolfman with Lon Chaney. Uh, I'm a sucker for uh, universal classic monsters. Um, I haven't seen a lot of the movies. Um, I do have a box set coming in from Amazon in the next uh, week or so, and I'm really looking forward to um, to watching all the movies. Um, I've got Universal Classic uh, Monster uh, action figures and posters, and um, I really uh, really enjoy that that old stuff. Right? Uh, this movie was not terrifying for me, um, obviously compared to, you know. Uh, the the movies that are out there now, you know that that common question of does it hold up? Um, you know, in terms of it being scary, no, it doesn't hold up. Uh, but in terms of it being, you know, original, and you know the movies that started it all, um, I have a lot of respect for these movies. Um, love the black and white. Uh, just love that old that old look. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to watching more of these, but uh, I really enjoyed this. <clears throat> John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, this is another movie that, for me personally, was not terrifying. Um, there were some scenes that were, you know, you kind of jumped a little bit, but um, for me it was more gross-out horror, and I was just, um, I was amazed, um, you know, by the visual effects. Um, I think it was so well done. Uh, it was a really good movie, uh, a lot of suspense, um, and Kurt Russell was great. Um, awesome movie, and it was the first time I'd seen it, so I really enjoyed that. Um, another first for me was Carrie, Stephen King classic Carrie. Um, Sissy Spacek was fantastic in this film. Um, uh, in Yeah, the ending was something else, uh, and uh, I felt sorry for her character. Um, I started to feel for her. Uh, you almost kind of rooted for her, um, in a way. Um, <clears throat> you know, even though she was so destructive, um, you felt bad for her, right? So, but yeah, this is an awesome movie. If you if you haven't seen this before, I highly recommend it. Great movie. Uh, this movie I've seen uh, multiple times, and um, I enjoy it every time. Alien, um, awesome movie. <clears throat> probably my favorite of all the series uh, Sigourney Weaver was fantastic in this film uh, this was a great mix for me because I love sci-fi as well so you know the sci-fi adventure thriller suspense um, yeah it was great and and some awesome scenes in this movie as well um, yeah not much needs to be said about Jaws uh, awesome movie make it a point to watch it um, once a year um, yeah just just a classic movie classic movie Jaws uh, this movie is not a horror movie um, but it's a, a Halloween movie it's an October movie the Rocky Horror Picture Show uh, what can I say about the Rocky Horror Picture Show um, weird <laughs> is, is a word that comes to mind um 
Tim Curry was fantastic in this film. Susan Sarandon, she was great. Um, Meatloaf as well. Great music, uh, great sequences, um, you know, very catchy tunes in this movie. Um, there were some, you know, some gross scenes in terms of, you know, you know, the horror element. Uh, but overall, um, just, yeah, just an interesting movie. Uh, fun to watch. Uh, like I said, Halloween, October movie. So, and then last but not least, uh, An American Werewolf in London. Uh, another great movie. Um, makeup artist, creature creator, Rick Baker. Um, phenomenal. Did a great job in this film. Uh, the wolf was, in fact, scary in this movie. Um, I remember watching bits and pieces of it when I was very young, uh, and it was terrifying. Um, was it as terrifying now in my old age? Uh, no, uh, but it still, it still was pretty scary. Um, and, and there were some pretty intense scenes in this movie as well. Uh, but overall, great movie just a classic 80s horror movie and uh, a lot of fun to watch so an american werewolf in london uh so yeah so that's my uh my brief recap of the week's horror films for the month of october uh, it was great watching them all uh stay tuned for my next sunday um review i have a list of movies ready to go and um next sunday i will review those movies as well and, uh, you know, hopefully I can pull this off. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, and I've had a lot of fun doing it. And um, if you have any comments or, or questions, please feel free to leave them. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Uh, if you like the content and uh, you want to subscribe, go for it. Uh, we'll see you next Sunday for another set of horror movie reviews. And uh, stay tuned for Saturday releases as well. And uh, as always, catch you on the next one.